Hey, it's Michael James Scott, and this is Spilling the Tea with iHeartRadio Broadway. iHeartRadio Broadway, driven by Mercedes-Benz. Oh my gosh, my ultimate favorite Broadway show would probably be, I'm gonna say, Ragtime. My first Broadway show was Beauty and the Beast at the Palace Theater, which is where I did my first Broadway show as well, so. Disney on Broadway, I mean, it's a full circle. Ooh, the Broadway show right now that is out, I'm dying to see and I haven't seen it, is Stereophonic. I would love to see it. I hear amazing things about it. There's so many things I wanna see. The best piece of advice someone has given me is, it, it, I mean, there's a couple of things, but I think the, 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 the main thing has been to be me and to be unapologetic. It's taken me some time to get there, but it's, it's about being unapologetically you. My favorite moments performing Aladdin is actually a surprise for people, but it would be the number Somebody's Got Your Back, which is in the second act. It's a bit more soft shoe, old school throwback style, and that is very me, up, like to a T, so it's that one. Everything else is amazing, of course, but that one would be my favorite. Oh my gosh, if I could collaborate with any musical artist dead or alive, oh gosh. I mean, the obvious is probably Beyonce, but I, I, but I would also go with like, uh, like James Brown, like, uh, it, like for me, or like Sam Cooke. I'm gonna go like, I'm going, I'm going old school. I, I think it probably would be Sam Cooke. My favorite Genie Improv is basically me being ridiculous. So probably me when I come out and I just tell the audience, just give me some more applause. That's probably my favorite moment because what other actor doesn't want to tell the audience to give them an applause and they actually, it says it in the script, like, give me more, give me more. So sure, I'm going to say that one. My dream role has not been written yet. Oh. My favorite Broadway cast album to listen to on repeat would probably be Rent. It would be Rent. I mean, like I, I, I played that to, like to death back in the day. But also Waitress. Like I love singing the songs of Waitress and harmonize with it. There was the concept album, and I loved it. I would like sing with Sarah Bareilles, and then I would be like, "Oh, I'm gonna do like the harmonies with her." And then it came out, and I was like, "Oh my God, they did my harmonies." I feel like they just got into my head. <laughs> Ooh, my go-to pump-up song before the show is anything Kirk Franklin. So it's gospel, you know, praise and worship really is a, I grew up with that. And, and so it's very inspiring. Um, but uh, but you, it's either Kirk Franklin or Israel Holton are two of my favorite artists to like get pumped up and just like let it out. <laughs> iHeartRadio Broadway, driven by Mercedes-Benz.